33. First we start off having a look at the 30 year and 5 year US bond. Yield spread, it's been rising pretty much since the lows of this year and has been the focus for for risk sentiment. The higher this chart plows, the the stronger the conviction is of a risk on sentiment in the market. If I were for instance to overlay that with the S P five hundred you can see there's been a really strong correlation as of late. And the higher this chart goes, continuous reflation trade, positive environment tends to continue. However, it's getting the higher it goes, obviously, it's becoming cheaper to sell risky assets and bet on a little bit more bearishness, which could be coming through as one of the key drivers for risk right now is the general US election coming up in the beginning of November market has been very bullish because they believe that Biden will have a clean sweep and while a clean sweep is still definitely possible going by the polls Biden's lead has been narrowing so in the beginning of October, mid-October it was standing at a peak of about 10.3 has been falling to 8.9 and risk assets tend to really strongly follow that we will have by the end of this week another debate coming up which could sway these either way but as this starts to climb down risk assets probably will have to climb down with it and the 30 year 5 year are likely to top out not point at uh, one point twenty five at uh, one point thirty it is likely to to have a sharp rejection that's just to understand where we are with risk environment we are really loftily priced we're really generously priced in terms of risk there is probably easier downside than upside currently at the look in this environment having a look at real yields as well so real yields inverted over with gold it is still in a lock jam no real direction there really hard to see how real yields could fall further but they are inverted here so basically to drop any lower which really means that gold should should be near a medium term topping out pattern so I imagine it would climb down a little bit Going to next week, we start off on the Monday. Not a lot of news for today. A little bit on China front. OPEC meeting. Some Fed speaking ECB. Starting to rain to be seen what uh, what sort of output they will have. The first key thing for us to look at is the monetary minutes from the RBA. Last few times we had these, it did tend to press ADJPY lower. So the 15th of September. We had the RBA minutes. That's when market started pricing in rate cut bets. So it was around here and started climbing down. And it's trying to mini recovery. The consensus is around that report, ADJPY will find another leg lower again. If you check the 18th of August as well, that wasn't the top of the market for the year, but it did cause a sharp drop after there as well. For the rest of Tuesday, there's not a lot I'm focusing on. Wednesday, we will have Canadian data, UK data, CPI fronts. We have retail sales for the Canada as well. So last Friday, retail sales for the United States were really strong. I'm expecting another strong follow through in that particular area as well. And plotting against pound, pound is currently having a difficult time finding strength. So every time it rallies a little bit, it tends to fall back, particularly because of rate cut bets mounting. So obviously the Brexit negotiations weighing intraday 
overall the consensus is there will be some sort of a deal focuses what happens beyond that which is probably going to be interest rate cuts from the Bank of England which pressures GBP so around retail sales on Wednesday I'm expecting another leg lower in GBP cat towards 169 possibly 168 levels around retail sales for Canada mind you there would be the last important data from Canada until the Bank of Canada meets the following week for interest rate decision they're not expected to change much so they could start legs lower into next week after that retail sales on Thursday we have some second tier data again basically we'll be looking at how the how the environment goes I believe there is stimulus talk ending tomorrow on Tuesday and that could set the tone for the rest of the week how indices move on the Thursday on Friday however we have German French overall euro PMI data it is expected that PMI data has peaked and this early in the recovery peaking data is never a good thing so I'm expecting euro JPY to even before Friday start a continuous climb lower ideally from this area of 100, uh, 124 40 area I'm starting to thinking about establishing shorts to take out these recent lows just a quick explanation what really happened here was that initially we started climbing down in September as uh, some rate cut bets started mounting from the ECB uh, around this area there was stimulus bets from the United States coming through coincidentally that was the same area that on the around the 21st of July we had the euro, euro bond so the coronavirus bond agreement it was about the same level I kept bouncing off of that and it started another bounce from that as well but I'm not expecting this area to to hold particularly going into that into the flash PMIs so I'm looking to establish shorts beforehand and to carry us further a leg down now whether there's going to be a sustained trend into November ECB meeting December ECB meeting is is yet to be established we could possibly see higher bounces before that but the idea is it's a bearish narrative on euro on interest rate going into the next ECB meetings either in November or December I'm gonna have quickly have a look at the RBA rate indicator so as of today the probability of cutting rates by the RBA for the next meeting is standing at 73% that means there is still some bearishness left to get priced in which I'm hoping the RBA minutes will give it the final blow to climb down another thing when you're trading AED currently is to look at is the VIX which is the volatility index for the S&P and Australian dollar has a very strong inverse correlation with that I see that there so VIX is, is obviously um, moving in more defined ranges than ADUSD probably but it recently really struggled to drop uh, below the 20 level and that's when ADUSD found a ceiling as as we are bumping along here I'm expecting ADUSD to be capped going forward specifically with the interest rate cuts coming up and maybe a US to even find to break 70 cents towards 68 cents and a pick up in the VIX would obviously catapult that even further there is most of the things I'm looking for week 43 so it would be RBA meeting and bearish on AUD on Wednesday I would be looking to short GBP cat and before Friday ideally we'll have a short Euro JPY established to capture the peaking data narrative on Friday. That's everything from me.